Good afternoon, sir. Uh, you've been acting for about 40 years right now. Uh, 35. 35, okay, sorry about that. 35. Uh, in your opinion, how did the, how has the uh, horror and fantastic uh, cinema evolved since then? Since that time, in, in which way? Yeah, the, the thing that's changing, you know, is the technology. Nothing is changing about what people do mm -hmm. how they act. It's just the technology is making different demands on people. When we did Aliens, there was no CG at all. It was only, there was some miniatures, but that was it. The rest was all tangible in there. You know? And uh, when CG came in, I kind of felt that it was great, but it, was, it should have been used more like uh, poetry, like you're doing something to extend something you can't do any other way to make a, to make a, make a special statement. But now it's become everything. It's, <clears throat> so I think it works best when it's unavoidable when you really need it. Mm -hmm. What about censorship? What about censorship? censorship? Censorship, yes. I don't believe in it. You know, no. no. Why? No, I know, I know. Well, but who's oh, censoring? Oh. Who's censoring what? Uh, I mean, well, things you can't see on the screen. You, you might have seen more things before, and right now, things are becoming, it's becoming more and more difficult to, to see certain things, to, uh, to, to let people show some things. Um, what I'm trying to say, but... You know what, I think audiences and taste are going to determine what, yeah, you, can see what you can do. What you can do. <laughs> Television's even becoming pretty... Uh, you got HBO, and mm -hmm. you've got all these... You know, cable stations, there's not much censorship on it. Yeah. I, that's a difficult question, because then you get into politics, and I hate yeah. politics, so... Perhaps you know you've portrayed uh, a huge number of characters, many, many characters. Is there one you would uh, like to portray, one you would love to portray that you haven't played up to now? Oh, that's like, that's like... Many, I guess. I, I, I think of acting, there's a, there's a phrase, it's called a kiss in the dark. Acting is... When you get a job, you don't know where it's going to come from. Mm -hmm. It comes from you don't know when, where, how, or who's going to offer it. So it's like a kiss in the dark, you know, and suddenly you get this job and you go, where did it come from? You know? So I don't know, in answer to your question, mm -hmm. I, I can't imagine the character that, that's going to come. <coughs> Somebody's going to offer me an idea and I'm going to go, ooh. That sounds like a challenge, yeah, yeah. let's do it. I think challenging, yeah. Lately I've been thinking about a movie, it's called uh, The Butcher, mm -hmm. where the guy is, he, he, his business is going bad, he's a butcher, and he starts killing people and serving them, you know, cutting up the meat, mm -hmm. becomes very successful. It's, but I've been thinking about that character, and, and, and uh, I want to combine The Butcher with uh, an idea of a, a world where smokers, The, the world gets hit by a, a, a virus that's killing non-smokers. And the smokers are the only ones surviving. Yeah. It's, it's sort of be like a very dark comedy and, and combining it with a butcher. So it's like my mind just... So that's a character. Have you ever thought about directing? Or? No, I don't no, want to. I, don't, I, don't do I, that. No, I think it's a masochistic mm. deal. I, don't, I wouldn't direct. I work with people, though. Like other actors, we work, and because of the actor's studio, it's a process. There's no end result. I could keep, I could do the same scene over and over and over again all day long and look for it and discover and uncover ideas, you know. And which movie are you the, well, I mean, you already answered that question, but which movie are you the most proud of? Uh, among the movies you did, among the 150 and more movies, the Maybe one I character you played? Maybe I politics, or? man, because I, I have my pat answer for that one. Is every, each one of them was a different adventure. I mean, yeah. I, I couldn't hold one movie up, you know, to another one. I mean, some, sometimes the whole experience of making a movie was so good mm -hmm. that no matter what happened to the movie, it's something that I'm really it. happy I did it. I could, I'm seeing it from a different point of view than you guys, than an audience. Because I, I spent months on the set, sometimes. Mm -hmm. When we did uh, Right Stuff, I was on it six months. Even Close Encounters, we were, that was almost six months. Mm 